let's focus in on storm B located right here. And in the radar reflectivity, you can see a fairly rapid increase to the reflectivity. It gets up to upper 60s dBZ by 2025 UTC. In terms of the velocity signature, at least at half degree, nothing really sticks out with storm B. However, notice just east and southeast of the storm, you do have uh, higher reflectivity, which may mean rain cool there feeding into that storm. So that's one potential negative. In the visible imagery, notice that we have considerable anvil cirrus coming up from the southwest from this other storm, obscuring this storm. So we're unable to view any storm scale signatures, which we may expect to see on the south or southeast flank of that storm. So the only thing you can really see here is the overshooting top right around 2027 and just a little bit of a, a shadow cast by that anvil cirrus uh, right around um, 2032 or so. Over here in the IR imagery we can see the overshooting top and the brightness temperatures get down to about minus 69 degrees Celsius. Also keep in mind uh, that the trends and in the increased reflectivity uh, corresponds pretty well to the lightning trends where we saw those increasing with the storm as well.